And it's just unbelievable. Just coming back to your point, for the benefit of our viewers, what James Allen is saying is that every Republican governor who stood up against the lockdowns is today a big political winner. That could have been Correct. the same here in Australia because those of us who opposed lockdowns, who opposed the masks, who opposed these experimental vaccines, we've now been validated. Even this notion of ivermectin. Don't you like the fact that the Therapeutic Goods Administration are now saying, oh, it's OK now to prescribe ivermectin? Uh, during the pandemic in Queensland, they were threatened with jail. Well, you know, the people who are described as conspiracy theorists when they said, you know, masks don't work. Huh. Cochrane Review, which is the world's leading meta-analysis, they can't find any evidence that masks work. It turns out we now know that uh, the big drug companies didn't really test whether the vaccines stopped you from getting it or, or transmitting it. So, you know, most, or the lab leak theory, you know, you, people were censored and pilloried for saying it came out of the lab. And now the 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 ninety percent view as it came out of a lab, which is not surprising since you know the first few cases were right outside the lab's door, and so you cannot trust these sort of left wing supposed fact checkers. And what's really worries me is this this new bill that Labor is introducing, you know, yes. even bigger inroad on free speech. This ACMA bill that's going to give ACMA these yeah. these incredible powers. Yep. And the problem is, this was originally mooted. By the Morrison government. I mean, really, we need Peter Dutton to stand up and say, I disavow the entire right. Morrison administration. It's not even worth debating. Not even worth debating. We won't not be part of it. A misinformation and a disinformation bill, which I might add, exempts government. So government can tell as many lies as they like. They can prosper as much disinformation and misinformation as they and like. The ABC, that, and the ABC. Alan, and the and ABC. The yeah, and that's right. The ABC. Yeah. Oh, they're not covered by any of this. You see, you make this yeah. point and the Liberals don't understand, but that Scott Morrison had no values, and this is correct, beyond doing what the focus groups told him would help him in the next election. And so basically what? They tried to out Labor Labor, you know, ran off to Glasgow. Malcolm Turnbull. Your job know? as a leader is to try to change opinion, not to go. So, you know, if Tony Abbott had gone with the focus groups, they would have told them there's no way to stop the boats. And so he would have given up. That's Whereas it. the one great accomplishment of nine years of coalition government is Tony Abbott stopping the boats. And, you know, that was not a focus group driven um, policy. You say that Malcolm Turnbull was the worst Liberal PM ever, but there's a definite argument, you say, to be made that Morrison was even worse. And you make the point, yeah. and this is so true, name anything the Morrison government did that could be described as conservative. Can you? Not really. Whereas, at least with with uh, Turnbull, you can say he did offer he did offer the state's income tax power, which is a you know a core thing that federalists need to support. So I actually think that you know, they all turned it down pathetically. You know, they're both terrible. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why there were fewer members of parliament in the Liberal Party who who didn't break ranks. And when they did break ranks, they get deselected, like yeah. as, as happened in yeah. Queensland yeah. last week, two weeks ago. Yes, Jeremy. Really, yep. I mean, you, 